You might find it hard to believe, but some people are making a career out of playing video games. But they are, and it's very lucrative. Video game tournaments like the one that came under attack in Jacksonville are high stakes. The game played in Jacksonville during the shooting was Madden NFL 2019, the pro football game and one of the most successful video game franchises of all time. Now that tournament was the first of four qualifying events happening across the country. About 100 gamers were registered to play, including professionals who flew in from Seattle, Philadelphia, and Atlanta. Winners vying for cash prizes and a trip to the finals tournament to be played in Las Vegas this October, where the first place winner would get $25,000. And if you're wondering how old these people are playing, maybe thinking that they're all kids, well, you'd be wrong. According to a 2017 study of the gaming industry, the average gamer is 35 years old. The tournament took place at a game bar. The setup would look a little bit like this. An area would be set aside with multiple consoles and video screens for gameplay. There would be announcers, referees, and a place for an audience to sit. Tough out today. Me, not Meanwhile, the tournament was being streamed live on Twitch. It's a website dedicated to all things gaming. Users there can live stream their gameplay and chat with their audience. Some broadcasters there even get paid for their channels, making lots of money. Amateur streamers can make as much as a few bucks to pros who rake in hundreds of thousands. Now, Twitch issued this statement following the attack, saying, We're shocked and saddened by the tragedy that took place in Jacksonville today. Twitch and all of its staff send our deepest sympathies to the victims, their loved ones, and everyone in our community who's grieving today. Now, the gaming community has also come together following the events in Jacksonville. Many Twitch streamers are donating their earnings to the victims and families in Jacksonville. I'm Giacomo Luca, ABC 10 News.